In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Voyager admin package so you can use it in your Laravel app. So let's go ahead and jump in and check it out. Okay, so now that you've seen what Voyager is and kind of what it can do and you're psyched and you want to install this package to use it for your Laravel app. So installing Voyager is pretty simple. And if we go to github.com slash the control group slash Voyager, this is where the repo lives. And if we scroll down, we can get the instructions on how to install the Laravel admin. So it says after creating your Laravel application, you can include the Voyager package by doing the following command. So let's start it off by just creating a new Laravel app. So I'm going to go ahead and just say Laravel new Voyager. Okay, and after the new Laravel app has been created, I can then CD into this project, and then I can go ahead and include this composer require tcg slash Voyager. Okay, and after we have included this package in our application, then we can go back here and it says that we need to add our database credentials. So let's go ahead and open this up in a text editor, and we will open up our .env file. And I'm just going to go ahead and change my database credentials to localhost, and Voyager, and this will be different based on your setup. So for now, my database name is Voyager, and my username and password is root, and I do have a database setup just called Voyager that I can connect to. So then if I go back to the repo, it says that we also need to add the Voyager service provider in our config slash app.php. So let's go ahead and copy this and go back to our config app.php, and we will need to add this to our providers array. So if I scroll down here, we can see providers, and then we just need to add it right here where it says package service providers. So I can include that, and then going back to the repo, it says that we can install Voyager without dummy data, we can just run this command. But let's go ahead and install it with dummy data, so we need this dash dash with dummy flag. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this, and paste this in. And you'll see within a few seconds, we now have Voyager installed, and it says that we should be all set to go. We can run PHP Artisan Serve. And then we can visit localhost 8000 slash admin. And sure enough, we have a Voyager install in front of us. So then we can go down here and we see that we have this admin at admin.com and password that we can log in with. So let's go ahead and say admin at admin.com and password. And sure enough, we're logged in and we have a fresh Laravel install and Voyager as our admin. So then let's go back and we can see some more additional options. So if we didn't include the dummy data, we could specify a particular user to have admin privileges by running this command. Or we could include the dash dash create flag and we could create a new user. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So I'm going to go ahead and say PHP artisan Voyager admin. I'm just going to say John Doe at gmail.com and I want to say dash dash create because we want to create this user. So the name is just going to be John Doe and we'll just set the password as password again. So now if I go back to my app and I click on users, well, I probably need to run PHP Artisan serve first. And if I go back to the admin and now I visit our users. We now have admin and John Doe, and we can see that they are both administrators. So that is the basics about how to set up Voyager for your Laravel app. Uh, it's very simple to set up and then very simple to use. And like I said, I will be creating more videos for you to learn all about Voyager and how it can help you to admin your Laravel app.